if you ever wondered what is the backdrop here in my videos, I'm sitting in my home library. You probably don't have a lot of friends who have a home library. This room wasn't designed to be a library in our house. I uh, think it was originally supposed to be a formal dining room, but it's not like we're hosting formal dinner parties at our house. And so I have hundreds and hundreds of books. And so years ago, I uh, invested in bookshelves to put all around here, and I have filled this room up with books, uh, mostly books that I've read, some that I am uh, can't wait to get a chance to read, books on lots of topics that uh, I think are going to help me live an epic life. And so I'm a big believer in the power of reading books. And I meet people all the time in uh, the business world, just friends of mine who are like, well, I don't, I don't really like to read. Uh, to which I would argue, I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, liking to read. The reason I read a lot of books, and the books that I read are, uh, are what would be called self-help books, books that are going to help me uh, be better, do better, live better, um, have better relationships. And, and frankly, you know, I'm not that smart. I don't have that many good ideas, right? But I surround myself with the ideas of other brilliant people, and they some of the best ideas in the world have been put in books, right? I've heard before that everything you need to know to be a multimillionaire and very successful life is sitting in every library. You just got to go find it and you got to read it. And so uh, I want to tell you a little bit today about the books that I read and kind of challenge you uh, to get on some kind of a reading program and uh, read some books for yourself. So what kind of books do I have here in my library? Well, one of my biggest shelves are all spiritual books. Uh, there are books about faith. I'm a Christian. It's something that's really important to me. And so uh, I read a lot of books, books to challenge me to think about uh, ideas like uh, like walking in faith and um, uh, how to have, uh, you know, happiness and joy and peace and abundance in your life, uh, how to live the kind of life that glorifies God and is a blessing to other people. And so I read a lot of books like that. Uh, I have a shelf right over here. It's actually three different shelves. That uh, on the top shelf, those are all books about marriage. Uh, my marriage is something that's very important to me. Right next to my relationship with God, it's the most important thing that I have in the whole world is the relationship with my wife. And so I've read books on how to be a better husband, how to communicate more effectively, um, how to uh, for the two of us to get together together and focus on accomplishing things together uh, as a couple. And, uh, and I think it's made a huge difference in our lives. Uh, the second row is all about parenting, right? Right below my responsibility as a husband is my responsibility as a father. And I take it very seriously. And from even before we ever conceived our first child, I started reading some books about parenting, about being a good father, about um, some of them are books about uh, raising daughters, which... This might not be a popular message in today's world, but raising girls is different than raising boys. It just is. And um, and so books about parenting, about helping kids grow up with a good self-image. Um, you know, I don't think I have all the answers when it comes to parenting, but I feel like we have we are successfully parenting our kids into being uh, well-adjusted, successful adults. And a lot of that comes from the books that I've read. I got a whole shelf right there that are all books about winning, about succeeding, about how to be a successful person. It's something that I think is, is really important. I got a small shelf uh, over here, which is the books that I read the first year that I started my own business. And a lot of these are books that were written 50, 60, 70, 80 years ago, uh, but books that were powerful and instrumental in shaping how I think about life and how I think about success. You know, books like uh, The Friendship Factor, and uh, The Master Key to Riches and Psycho Cybernetics, which sounds like a weird book. It's really how to, you know, use your mind as a guided missile for success. Books like How to Win Friends and Influence People, What to Say When You Talk to Yourself, How to Have Confidence and Power in Dealing with People, The Magic of Thinking Big, foundational books that really, really helped me and I still recommend to people to this day. I spent a lot of time in my career working in um, sales, working in professional business to business sales. And today I do a lot of training on selling skills. And so I have a shelf of books that's just all about how to be successful in selling. And I'll tell you what, reading these books really changed my career. Uh, when I first started working in sales, I really, really struggled. I started reading some of these books pretty soon. I was selling five times more with one third of the effort. It was uh, really impactful. I got a shelf of books that's uh, all about leadership, 
uh, because I don't think there's such a thing as a born leader. I think leadership is something that is learned, uh, something that you can practice. And a lot of it you learn through experience and example. Uh, but a lot of it I've learned from reading books on leadership. I have a shelf of books that are all about presentation skills and how to be a good communicator. I got one shelf that's all about mindset and about how you think, because how you think creates the life that you have. I have a couple shelves that are dedicated to authors I like. I have uh, one shelf that's all John Maxwell's books. It's one of the premier uh, speakers and trainers on leadership in America. I got one shelf of books that's dedicated to uh, probably my favorite self-help author, a guy named Og Mandino. And maybe you've heard of his books before you haven't. Man, I highly recommend them. They're just little stories. They're like parables. Boy, when I started reading those books, when I started my own business 30 years ago, they changed me, right? They got, they stirred up emotion in me and got me thinking about what was really important in life. Og Mandino, highly recommend them. Check them out. Of course, I got a bunch of comic books because I think comic books are awesome. You got to read some comic books, books about teamwork, um, all kinds of different stuff. And so my challenge to you is what kind of books are you reading? I read novels sometimes too. I like to read, you know, spy novels and, uh, you know, CIA assassins sent over enemy lines, that kind of stuff. Um, I got a shelf of all autographed novels. Uh, you know, my dad and I both like reading some of the same books um, about uh, they're kind of adventure books. Uh, but to me, that's kind of a break from uh, some of the self-help stuff that, you know, just get your mind aligned, aligned with the thought process of other successful people. If I can give you one pointer that has helped me that I recommend is one of the things I like to do is in the back of a book, uh, I like to take notes, right? I highlight as I go through a book and then on the very back, I write down the things that are most impactful for me. That helps me as a speaker and trainer that sometimes I can go back and like, what was that idea? And like, oh yeah, it was right here. Um, I've done this in a lot of my books. Here's a picture of just some of the books that I've taken notes in that way. And uh, I found that to be to help me focus that I'm not just reading this like, oh, that's interesting. I'm, um, I'm looking to learn, right? I'm looking for uh, little nuggets of information, ideas that stir things up in my mind. You know, I'm not going to just do what some author says that I should do. But reading these ideas stirs up in my mind and in my heart. And I've noticed books have changed who I am more than really almost anything that I've heard like live from a speaker or something. So anyway, you don't have to go get a library in your house. You may not have room uh, in your uh, place of dwelling to have a library. But I do challenge you, what are you reading? People tell me they don't have time to read. I'd say you don't have time not to read. People that tell me I don't like to read, I say suck it up. If you'd like some recommendations on uh, books that might help you, feel free to send me a message. Send me a comment. Send me an email to jeff at jeffjoiner.com. You can reach out to me on Instagram at Jeffrey Joyner, on uh, Facebook at Jeff Joyner Training, or you can leave a comment on this video. And uh, one of the things I like to do is when someone says, hey, here's an area of my life that I'm looking to change, I'm looking to grow, I want to improve in, what kind of books do you recommend? And uh, maybe I have, don't, don't have something for you, but you know I might have a book that could really help you move and grow and advance in the directions of your dreams.